Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to create negative space letter marks in Gravity Designer. Negative space are amazing logos and they are very appealing to their customers. They make them think twice because of the ecology principles of Gestalt. Gestalt means unify whole and there are two principles that works here. One principle is called need of completeness or closure that we perceived this H as a H but not a group of the distinct white rectangles that messed with the white background. Of course our previous experience play a big deal also in the recognizing of letter H here. And a second law called figure ground which states that we perceive any group of objects as a whole object surrounded by white space. But for now, guys, let's start creating this logo. One, uh, one thing I want to mention before we start that this logo was inspired by the real world example you can see right now on your screen. Uh, but this logo wasn't uh, developed on the isometric grid, it was developed on the perspective grid. So you can follow the link in the description and learn the difference between all kinds of projections in the Gravity Designer Medium Block article. And for now let's start our negative logo design practice in Gravity Designer. So let's get started. With a new document I'm gonna size this document with this website large 1440 to 900 pixels. Uh, and first let's load the grid, so go to the isometric and check this option, then go to the size of 10 pixels and I'm gonna increase a bit my canvas, grab the pen tool, guys, as you can see I didn't sketch anything for this project but I really need something to guide me through the development of these letters with a negative space and I decided to just simply grab the text tool and create a real letter H with the default open sans typeface and then set it to extra bold. Now when I see how different parts of this letter relates to each other, I can start drawing with the pen tool. So grab the pen tool. Make sure that your snap to grid is, is tuned on. I have a 10 pixels in my grid module, but uh, you can set any value, play with the grid, what works for you. Hopefully for us, a graphic designer has a built-in isometric grid so we can resize this module on the fly. Imagine this project in Adobe Illustrator when you always need to create a custom grid and this is very discouraging when you realize finally that this grid doesn't work, work out well for you so uh, you need to rebuild this grid and uh, therefore rebuild your artwork accordingly. Sometimes I simply give up with the idea to build something. Then I'm gonna grab subselect tool, holding shift key I'm gonna select these four dots in the middle and with my arrow keys I'm gonna nudge them down, so using my down arrow keys and of course I'm gonna align these dots as well. So far so good, let's go and grab the pointer tool and with the pointer tool I'm gonna delete the border so select the border and click on the remove to delete the border then I'm gonna navigate to the effects more and shadow so select the shadow from here from this drop down and then grab the long shadow effect this on the bottom of your panel disable the fade type 100% in the opacity field and set the angle to 30 degrees. Click OK. Now let's play with the lens value and 
see what works best for us. So I'm gonna leave it as 15. Next, again, let's grab an E and following the isometric grid, draw an E with a pen tool. Let's so I'm gonna grab selection tool holding shift key, select these two guys and combine them. Connect pass lines. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna adjust my letter again, set and close to the straight line and Okay, 10 pixels grid doesn't work for me in this situation because I'm gonna uh, push this to the left to increase the weight uh, of the of the letter E here. So what I'm gonna do... So click uh, at the free portion of your canvas to deselect everything and then head on to the document panel and find your isometric grid, place a cursor and type a value of 8 pixels and then I'm gonna adjust this letter E according to my new grid with a subselect tool when I finish my letter E I'm gonna navigate to the long shadow effect and apply similar long shadow effect without fade with 100% opacity but with the angle and this is important, guys, with the angle of 150 degrees. And of course, guys, following this technique, you can build almost any letter in free editor in Graphic Designer. So if you enjoy this tutorial, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, click a notification on to receive small notification when I publish the new video about Quiet Designer. And of course visit tutorials.net to learn more written tutorials about Quiet Designer. Thank you for watching, enjoy the day!